Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. Today's not really much of a rant, it's more of a uh, information rant because a lot of you out there I know uh, are asking me this question. They watch, you watched WrestleMania, the WWE Super Bowl basically this past weekend, and you saw Triple H in the ring looking the best he's ever looked. And a lot of people know that I work with Triple H, I do his diet year round. Um, Joe DeFranco does his training, I do his diet and supplements. And uh, you know, every year after WrestleMania, Triple H and I sit down and we, we put together a plan for the next year. Because he doesn't really wrestle all year round anymore, so he gets ready. His, his Olympia, essentially, is WrestleMania. And so he said, Dave, I want to look better than I did last year. And last year we brought him in super crazy ripped. He's like, I want to be bigger and I want to be, you know, just as hard, if not harder, if you can do it. And I said, we can do it. I said, if you put your mind to it, we can do it. We're going to plan the whole year. So we bulked him up the off season. Uh, I put him on a higher calorie diet, you know, protein, fats, and carbs. Um, for him, we were pushing him probably around, you know, nothing crazy, probably 250, uh, 250 grams of carbs a day, which for him is a lot because he's not a big carb eater. And mostly clean foods. We give him a cheat meal once a week. Um, he trains with Joe DeFranco every night, at, like anywhere from 11 p.m. to 12 at night, um, because that's the only time him and Stephanie, his wife, have time to train. Joe goes to their house. And, you know, Triple H told me, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot more functional training this year like I did last year, um, which, you know, at first, you know, thought you might say to yourself, wow, high intensity, you know, functional training like that requires a lot of carbohydrate intake. Uh, and, you know, we discussed that and I said, well, let's see how your body responds because you're not really doing it for like two hours. I said, you're doing it for a very short period of time. So he went along and he, you know, he started doing his, uh, you know, we started putting him on a, uh, on a diet, getting ready for WrestleMania, starting about maybe 18 weeks out. I cut his carbs way back, kept him on a little bit of carbs. And he said he felt great when he was training. And this was at, at night, you know, but he, you know, he had all, almost five meals in him at that point. Uh, even though most of them were just protein and fat, he was able to train with, with full intensity. Matter of fact, he felt better, he said, because he wasn't holding any fluid and he felt like he was able to move more easily. And what I noticed over the course of the first four to six weeks was that he was actually putting muscle on, which was amazing. Uh, I think whenever you realize you start a, any kind of a contest type diet or, or you know, diet to get lean, usually protein goes up, carbs come down. And that's exactly what I did with him. I raised his protein, I brought his carbs down, I kept his fat consistent, and little by little we, we knocked the, the, the carbs out over the course of you know, 16 weeks that led up to this you know, WrestleMania event. Uh, at, at some point we were ketogenic, and he loves being ketogenic. He, he'd do the ketogenic diet the whole time if I let him. But I, don't want him, I wanted him to come in bigger, so I needed to feed him a little more to make sure I could sustain his workouts, and, and I know he would grow into the... Uh, into WrestleMania, I, he does it all the time. It's just that's just the way his body responds. Probably because he doesn't train quite as intensely, you know, in the off season because he doesn't have to get in the ring every every weekend like he used to. So, different strategy. Once again, once we got ketogenic with him, the body fat started coming off really fast. And you know, I play with cardio at that point. So the question is, what is Triple H eating? Well, he's eating six meals of protein, probably 50 grams of protein or close to that per meal with about 25 to 30 grams of fat. And you know, he loves the nuts, he loves his peanut butter and his, and his isolized species nutrition shakes. He's big on that. I mean, that, he probably does two or three of those a day. Uh, he eats a lot of fish, you know, he's a salmon eater like I am. Uh, anything I tell him to eat, pretty much he'll eat. He'll have his, uh, you know, his cup of green beans with, a, with macadamia oil, also from species nutrition. I gotta say one thing. He buys all the species nutrition products, not only for himself and his wife, Stephanie, but the whole McMahon family uses it. And you know, they, they believe in high quality products. That, to them, it's the most important thing to get the best stuff that their money can buy because they know that whatever they put into their body is gonna translate into how they look and how they feel and how healthy they are. So uh, I'm proud to say that they use the whole species nutrition line of products, the you know, V-mineralized, the Omegalized for essential fats, Fiberlized, very big product in their household. Um, so, the advantage of working with someone like this is that anything I tell him to do, he's going to do and have trust in me because we've worked together so long. When we got to about two, three weeks out, you might have seen some pictures of him up online. And he looked good, but he didn't look crazy. And, and he, you know, he was concerned, and I said, look, you're right where you need to be, because I know how fast his body responds once I pull the trigger. All I did was up his cardio a little bit, we took, you know, we eliminated all, all the carbs, and I went to clean cheat meals, and you know what? 
his body just responded super quickly, almost almost too easily. And uh, I knew it about a, about 10 days out, I knew he was his best, I knew he was a little flat. I started feeding him a little bit every day. He'd send me updates daily at that point. And I'd say, go eat you know, two meals with 35 grams of carbs you know, at night. And we might do that you know, two, three days in succession. And he's like, you sure, you sure? And, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, because once again, at that point I knew he was in shape. And once someone is in shape, the biggest mistake you can make is not feeding them. Um, people always think, oh, I'm in shape, but I can get even harder. When you go for that, you usually flatten out or you lose muscle. Or probably more, more than likely what you, what's happening is you're, just not, you're so depleted that you just can't fill yourself up in time for the show. So that's not something we want. Once a person's in shape, feed them more, keep them a little fuller because you don't need to burn any more fat. You, know, you have to have that little bit of buffer in there. And once again, I love working with, with the Triple H because he does trust my opinion he does trust my instincts and you know it se everything seems to always work out perfectly when we do it because he's a machine and and it's great working with people that are like little machines and will follow anything you tell them to do uh it's a great picture right there johnny's got up there of uh, stephanie and paul and uh once again i'm so happy that he achieved the best condition of his life uh, i know he's got a big photo shoot coming up in a couple weeks so we're going to keep dieting him and stephanie for that and hopefully we'll get some great pictures from that photo shoot so we can put that up as well and uh you know like any of you guys have questions, you know, you can feel free to email me at huge285 at AOL.com. Also, uh, if you haven't joined my app, I have a Dave Experience, Dave Palumbo Experience app. You can download it at your Android or iPhone, iTunes store. And it's something that will, if you like information like this, it will give you access to all my diets, routines, training, uh, supplementation, all my videos and articles I've ever written. Plus, you can ask me questions for free on there. Uh, I do a private Q&A on that as well, uh, so you might want to check that out. Guys, if you didn't see Triple H, go check out the highlights of WrestleMania. It was a great one. Dave Palumbo for an RX Muscle rant.